What's up everybody, 915 Mang here doing a video today. I'm going to be talking to you about my uh, protein skimmer. It's from Aquamax. I picked this up from Marine Depot back in the day before they were uh, going out of business and got bought up. But this is a great affordable skimmer. Um, I've been using it for a while and I'm really happy with it. The protein skimmer is an important piece of equipment for anybody that's keeping a reef tank. It just makes things a lot easier can you run a, a successful reef tank without a protein skimmer yes you can but you'll be doing um, more water changes and things like that um, for me adding a protein skimmer to my tank is a no-brainer you can see by the collection cup all the junk that it's uh, pulling out protein skimmer technology has gotten a lot better um, back in the day there was like some overflow hang on the back uh, protein skimmers that one wasn't so good because this was early 2000s. They used these big old um, power heads, the Rios, and then those things would often get overfilled and flood all over the back for me. Um, I've had the Reef Octopus in sump. I had the RLS um, Protein Skimmer in sump. And now I got an Aquamax, which is really good because um, there's a lot of features on this that I like. One thing that I like is a big collection cup. You can see it, it has an oval dome, it is full of crud, and this thing stinks. It doesn't have to get changed out often. Um, I can go weeks without this thing needing to get filled, um, cleaned up. Um, but I also often don't wanna do that too much because if it ever does get overfilled, all this junk will go into the sump which will then go back into your tank. Um, I haven't had that problem yet, but it is a possibility that you gotta be aware of. The smell from the collection cup was crazy. I cleaned it out after I rinsed it out. I cleaned up the sink, threw some bleach down there and it, the house still stunk like a uh, skim mate. I wanna know what kind of protein skimmers you guys are running. What, what do you guys think about this one? Um, I'm not sponsored by Aquamax or anything like that. I'm just showing you a pretty good protein skimmer that I haven't had any problems with. Like I said, I've had Reef Octopus in the past. The thing was super loud. Um, it, it would drive me crazy on how loud the thing is. And I'm going to give you some tips on how to keep your protein skimmer nice and quiet. Um, this one, out the box, is ready to go. It was pulling some nice bubbles and everything and uh, really like it so I thought it would be good to do a video on it. But if you do decide that you want to sponsor somebody you can go ahead and find my email in the description below and you guys can hook it up. Anyways this is a great skimmer. I want to know what you guys are running. Um, before I picked this one up I was actually thinking about the uh, Red Sea uh, protein skimmer. I thought it was a very real nice one and uh, but I'm glad I went with the Aquamax. It's been pretty good and uh, the price was right. I usually don't go too high. Keep mine right in the middle. If you go too high, that is called usually a wet skim. I usually keep it in the middle, which is like a dry. I get a lot of good, nasty stuff out of the skimmer. And uh, so that's where I keep it. I don't know about you guys, but it's, it's been pretty successful for me. When I clean the collection cup, I just leave it there. I just reattach it, and it's great. I like that. You can adjust it up or down. It has a little gate valve that in more water or less water. Makes a good mixture with the air that is pooling. I like to keep it kind of in the middle, and it, it works really good for me. The next piece is this little pill bottle, or the air silencer. This part is really key, and what I like about it is it's see-through. I'm going to show you here in a minute what I didn't like about my old protein skimmer. When this thing gets um, clogged up full of salt creep, it really doesn't work good at all. It's just not going to mix the salt water and the air together really good. Um, you can see it has a little notch. The little blue line is thin. The more air that you let in, it, the blue line gets bigger, which is also a cool little feature that was included in the skimmer, little attention to detail type of deals. Now that you saw that, you might want to go ahead and go to your uh, pill bottle on your protein skimmer, disconnect the hose, 
You don't have to turn the protein skimmer off. It'll still run. It'll just be more loud. But uh, you want to maintenance those things, especially if they're like my old skimmer. Check out this uh, little pill bottle. It is solid. And I all I did was I filled it up with water and I just started shaking the thing around to break any of that uh, salt creep out. So if your protein skimmer is a little bit too loud for you, you probably need to go ahead and do this. Um, just spray some water in there, shake it around, and it'll, it should silence it up. You also might want to let it dry out. You can keep shaking it until all the water comes out, and then you can go ahead and reattach it to the air hose. This does take a little bit of a while. It is worth it, though, if, especially if your protein skimmer is being a little bit loud. This should be part of your regular maintenance, especially if your pill bottle on your protein skimmer is not see-through I guarantee you got all kinds of salt creep in there so in closing I think this is a great protein skimmer if you're looking for something pretty affordable you guys go ahead and check these guys out and if you think there's a better skimmer out there go ahead and drop it down in the uh, comments below I'd love to hear your opinions